Greetings, entomologists, and welcome to the City of Riverside's Virtual Insect Fair. I'm Jamie Kenny. I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Entomology at UC Riverside. And today I just wanted to share a little bit about the insects that I study as an entomologist, the psyllids, and how all of you can help us to learn more about psyllids and all other kinds of insects starting today. Psyllids are tiny insects that feed on plants. They're very similar to aphids, very closely related, and about the same size. However, because psyllids have these prominent wings, they tend to resemble miniature cicadas. Just like aphids, psyllids feed on plant sap. So they have these highly specialized straw-like mouth parts that you can see circled here that they stab into plants and use to suck sap. So if psyllids are so tiny, why do we care about them? While they're sucking sap out of plants, psyllids can actually transmit bacteria to plants that potentially makes them very sick or kills them. Basically, bacteria can live inside of psyllids, and when these psyllids begin feeding on the leaf of a plant, they salivate into the plant. And when they do so, bacteria from inside the psyllid can then enter into the leaf of the plant. And once inside, these bacteria can multiply and potentially make the plant very sick. This is bad news for us if the psyllid's feeding on a plant that we're using to grow food. For example, in Riverside, the Asian citrus psyllid transmits bacteria that cause a disease called citrus greening. And this disease kills citrus trees such as orange, lemon, lime, and grapefruit. So if you have any of these types of trees growing in your yard, you might wanna keep an eye out for those little tiny Asian citrus psyllids. California is actually a hotspot of psyllid biodiversity. And what this means is that we have more psyllid species than almost any other part of the globe, and certainly more than any of the other 49 states in the USA. We actually have over 150 unique psyllid species. However, for most of these psyllid species, there's still a lot that we don't know about them. We don't necessarily know their geographic distribution or all the different types of plants that they like to feed on. And we certainly don't know whether most of these psyllids transmit bacteria to plants that might cause plant disease. So this is where all of you come in. You can help scientists study psyllids and fill in these gaps in our knowledge about psyllids and other insects. How? All you have to do is create an account at inaturalist.org and then install the iNaturalist or the Seek by a Naturalist app on your smartphone. This is totally free and it makes it super easy to take and instantly upload photos to the iNaturalist database. And after that, you're ready to start observing insects. Once you upload a photo to iNaturalist.org, um, the website uses image recognition technology and experts to help you identify and learn about new insects and any other animals and plants you might be interested in. And the cool part is that scientists can then use these data collected by you to learn where and when insect species occur. So for example, I've used data 
collected by people just like you and submitted to iNaturalist um, to help with my research studying psyllids. So I go into iNaturalist and you can click on explore and select a certain group of plants or animals that you want to look at and then set geographic boundaries such as Riverside County, California. And then it will show you all of the observations, all of the photos of organisms within the group that you've selected. So for example, here, I can see all of the psyllid observations submitted by all of you in Riverside County. And from these data, I can learn what time of the year these psyllid species are present and potentially what types of plants they like to feed on. Plus, if you download the SEEK app by iNaturalist, you can even earn badges and gain levels for each additional insect species that you observe. So if you are into the Critterpedia, this is like a real life Critterpedia. It's super fun and it's also super cool because it's contributing to science. One particular psyllid species that I'm studying is the potato psyllid. The potato psyllid feeds on tomato, potato, bell pepper, and also wild nightshade plants that you might see in local natural parks. But unfortunately, the potato psyllid also transmits a bacterial disease to all of these plants that it feeds on. So you can help contribute to this research by checking your home tomato, potato, bell pepper plants. And if you see any of these little guys, take a photo, share it on iNaturalist, and it will be automatically submitted to the potato psyllid project. This is just a curated collection of all the potato psyllid observations on iNaturalist. And if you're really excited, you can even collect specimens and mail them to us to be included in our study where we're conducting genetic analyses of the potato psyllid. For more info about how you can contribute specimens to our study, please go to mocklab.ucr.edu slash community-based potato psyllid sampling project. So all right, what are you all waiting for? I know you're here because you love insects and you are ready to begin your journey towards becoming entomologists. So join iNaturalist, get outside, start sharing insect photos, and you can start contributing to entomological research today. And don't forget to look for psyllids. Thank you and please enjoy the rest of the insect fair. <laughs>